This is an aerial photograph of a state, the scene of a state assassination ordered by Judge Henry L. Stevens III. My name is Reese Phipps. I'm son to Lacey Phipps, brother to William Henry Phipps, who was shot. This is his back for the fatal wounds he received on September 5th, 1995. This assassination was brought because Daddy was writing about Judge Stevens and his, the way he, was, he would take land from people. Um, it was a way of life for him and other people in Duplin County. And Daddy would write about it and put it on the, um, the files of the courthouse. And Judge Stevens, it made him mad. He is the one that ordered this state assassination, this double ambush. Blake Wallace, who was an SBI agent then, sheriff now, was the man who directed this. This scene is approximately a mile and a half from where we live in Bowden, North Carolina. There was one man below this bridge on the water line here and another up at the bridge in Butnett. Fired two simultaneous shots into this vehicle. One through the back glass, striking my father in the head, exiting it out the windshield. The other fired it through the trunk, the boot of the car, hitting the firewall, the seats, Fiberglass bucket, striking my brother in the back, making these flesh wounds. As they continued to travel on down this highway, my brother stated, there's Benny, there's Benny, there's Benny, three times. As they fought for the steering wheel and the switch key, my brother switching the car off. Two shots were fired off of this ditch bank, which is approximately four feet above the road, down into the back window of this car causing these two fatal wounds. One of the bullets that was brought out of this wound, the autopsy reported was a 30 caliber. The bullet hole in the back of this car here, which these are one in the same cars just put in two different locations for this picture, this, this bullet was a seven millimeter bullet hole. That meant two guns was used. These two shots were fired simultaneous, meaning that there was two guns used here. As they traveled on to Kenansville, a state highway patrol stopped my father. After passing him, turned around and stopped him, asking him, where is he going? He said, I've been shot. The man said, you're going to jail, where are you going? After the State Highway Patrol was able to investigate Daddy and find out the wounds, he said, follow me. Daddy proceeded into Kenansville, where they drug my brother out of the car with his head bobbing the ground. My father said, don't do that. He said, he's already dead. My father went up into the hospital to get his wounds taken care of. How you doing? Hey, man, pretty good. Doing all right? Pretty good. He, uh, he got his wound taken care of. The Sheriff Blake, uh, Sheriff George Garner, Blake Wallace, and other SBI agents was in the hospital waiting on him. I will make more uh, pictures and photographs of this scene and post them on YouTube too so everybody can see the actual scene. This is the tree that the SBI said, this is the stump of the tree because it was cut down, that the SBI stated was used for the ambush, stating that 260 feet down this highway is where the car was shot, which is physically impossible because here's where the shots actually come from and the bullets went straight into the car. This one with an upper 
trajectory, that one with a slightly down trajectory, almost level. So this tree that they said was used to shoot the holes was physically impossible, could not ever be done. Furthermore, the autopsy states that these two bullets were shot in at a 33 degree trajectory, meaning that they had to come downward. This, this stump right here is seven feet below the road bed. And they said that the man stood on a seven foot ladder to shoot those bullets, meaning that he would be level with the car, which is essentially what happened here. But these two bullets could only be put in at a 33 degree angle, which made it possible off of this hitchback.